to Vienna. I was by myself. So I didn't know what to do. I didn't, didn't have any friends that they invite me to go out or something like that. So I was just by myself. I was then playing the guitar, which I took from Salzburg. A friend of, of Muit and me, he, he introduced us. And I was, he, was, he was saying, like, yeah, Bernie can play Harry Potter team song behind the, behind the back. And, and Muita was like, really? Okay, you play in my band. And I was like, no, you, don't, you haven't heard me play before. And he was like, still, you will play. Being in a band is like being a, in a relationship with three people. And it's really interesting because at the beginning you have to get to know each other and it's all fun. And there are like no arguments and no issues to talk about. But the longer um, you continue to decide to do music together, the more complex it gets in, in any sense. It's really like a relationship. Sometimes it's really stressed, sometimes we fight each other, we hate each other, but in fact we love each other. Tobi is uh, very, very strict, very funny too. From, from the te technique and everything, he's the, he's the best player of us, definitely. Tobi is like the teacher of us and I think he's, he's very strict with us, but I think we need that, so that's actually very good for us. I think I'm more behind the scene, more grooving with, uh, with Paul and try to get the basic rhythm of the band and, and keep everything down and settled. And Bernie and Muita, they can more concentrate on the show then. Bass and drums, they always have to be really tight. Um, meaning, like, while the, the drums is the heart of the body, the bass is somehow like the blood that is transporting all the ingredients around. At the beginning this was pretty hard because we both have this ego somehow and at the beginning it was hard to, 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 to find this symbiosis. But I don't know, since the last three, four years we're really, really tight. It's like there's never a note that is without a beat or never a beat that is without the harmony. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun to be like this with him. I would say Muita is like a, a real uh, dreamer boy. Yeah, Muita especially is a front man. He's, he's an interesting character. We used to hang out a lot together. Uh, we were in Tanzania together. So I saw Tanzania, his, his, yeah, his place he's coming from, his uh, whole family. So that was really intense. Uh, for me, it's a big friendship. It's a big opportunity to learn from him, from his thinking. I think he has an unusual thinking uh, for me. <laughs> I think I'm more like logical and straight. He's more like, <laughs> and I like this. I get like, I'm a really emotional guy and that's why I get easily emotional with any conflict of, I don't know, about anything you can ever imagine. When we're dropping this album, I, I wasn't mature enough to, 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 see, to see that it's just a release, you know? And I thought like, okay, that's like the biggest release what the world was waiting for the whole life. But yeah, it's, it was a good experience that I, was super disappointed. I was thinking that like, oh, I can quit my job <laughs> as a waiter. But I could not. Which is a good thing because it helped me to be like more down to earth. Where it's really hard to keep yourself motivated with all this of all the destruction of having music colleagues. They were dropping their album and then they're like all over the place and really successful and blah and I try to learn to ignore those things because those things of jealousy is demotivating my, 
my work as a musician. Yeah. Everybody has uh, good parts and bad parts in it, in, in himself. And that's lovely, I love that, that everybody is so really unique. Paul, I love to be with him around, he's so funny. He's the one who brings me a, a lot to love, you know. And he's very positive, uh, besides sometimes not when he's hungry, <laughs> and he's hungry a lot. Bernie, the same, he's uh, down to earth. He's always tried to be the diplomat, I think. And the give was a lot of love. And while Toby and me are more the serious German guys who are always like blah 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 blah. These two are the funny guys and, and the heartful guys. And I think this 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 compensates a lot our more like let's say rational and professional approach to music combined with their more passionate approach as well. You got the highs and lows in our ordinary life. But don't give up on joy, okay? On stage, I have like 60 or 90 minutes of telling the whole world how I feel in a really emotional, extravagant way, um, where I feel also allowed to be who I am. And And then going off stage after dealing with all this, all the shit that a 26 year old man has to face with. Let's say that 26 year old black man has to face with. And that's quite hard. I wish that I can see myself as a 26 year old human, but society is not giving you the freedom of thinking like that uh, this way. You are constantly reminded every day when you go outside your flat that you are different, that you have only to face same reactions of people when they meet you, when people start to talk to you in English, when people are like doing jokes about your skin color but they don't, don't mean it in a racism way, but it's hard for a black person to hear it all over again every minute, second, hour, because it keeps you all the time reminded that you're different. Because those other people who are not sharing the same skin color, who are sharing all the same skin color but not the black skin color, they don't have to face of they don't have to face the thing of being different. I love Vienna. I love the sound from the guitar on this. It's like boom, boom, boom. And it's like really huge. It takes, it fills the whole, the whole room. And, and I mean, it's nerdy guitar stuff, but 
I loved it. When I play music, when I mix music, when I produce music, when I teach music, I don't know, the time just goes by and then for me it's, I could do it every day. I am and was and will always be a really angry person, I see, but drumming helps me a lot to release all my anger and all my aggressions, like all this negative People call it native. I wouldn't even call it native because for me it's a source of inspiration. If I feel angry, if I feel um, aggressive, I love to sit behind the drums and, and release all this. And then after a show I always feel like the most happiest person in life. And this is why I do it. I like it quiet. But you're in a band. <laughs> but I'm in a band. But I have these things for my ears I always wear. So it's quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't like it too loud. Schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. <laughs> it's like on the day I'm I'm telling the kids don't don't be bad. And in the evening I'm bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> You have to check the eyes of the people always. If they have the eyes of cat shape, then you know it's an alien. Bernie, for example, is also an alien. He always does this on stage. No, he really does it. I, I, I can prove that. <laughs> I think we have to be at the venue at 4 o'clock. So there's still enough time for the month. So no stress, no sweat, no stress. <laughs> 